I made myself a haversack bag thing, um, which I will show you more the design of it at the end. Um, but today we're going to have a go at waterproofing it. We got white spirit. Um, how much is there? Half a litre. Yeah, 500 mil, 310 mil of uh, silicon sealant, a plastic bottle, and a brush. So we're going to pour the silicon in here, pour this in, give it a good shake, let it mix. When I think I've got the consistency right, we're going to start painting on the bag. And that's about half the bottle. And you can see this just suddenly started to go really gloopy. Let's go for more white spirit. So I left about that much. Do like a measurement, me. Oh. What a strange consistency <laughs> and colour. Oh. A bit more in there. Gloopy enough, isn't it? Consistency of cough medicine, you reckon? Of, uh, yeah. Oh, it's like a teenager's bed sheets, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, give you an idea of the consistency of it. I'm just going to pour it in this because it's going to be disposable. So, we'll put a black glug there. Now, you need to be quite quick with this because you don't want the silicon to set. That's all of it covered. Obviously, you need to pay more attention to seams and pocket edges. The bottom, I've put a really nice thick coat on as well. Um, and we're just going to work our way around it again. Um, so I've still got just under half left. So it's all nicely coated. Not got anything touching each other. Um, started to dry on the back already. Um, this ridiculously big lid, um, I will explain it um, once this is dried. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back. While we're here, Nobby from Step Away from the Screens made me a hammock. Now, so I've got it up on my trellis, <laughs> um, but it comes with a bug net as well, which is amazing, but the dogs were jumping on it, so I soon took that off, um, but he's made it super wide. I've, I've not measured it, but it is a lot wider than um, the TW um, Ultralight, um, but yeah, really pleased with it. It's such a nice lay in it, and you can actually lay dead flat. Um, and me just being around six foot um, is really appreciated. <laughs> um, and he's got the ridge line set up as well with a little doofy bag on it. Huh, really, 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 really pleased with it. And it's super light and it all fits into that bag with the Mosnet as well. So it's, yeah, it's spot on. It's absolutely spot on. So all I need to take is suspension and then just clip the carabiners on it and you're done. You can't set it up wrong because at this ridge line you can't you just can't do it wrong. So very pleased. Okay right, so here's the finished bag. It's all dried off, it feels 
just like normal fabric. It's, I, I thought it'd be like feel really rubberized, but it feels absolutely fine. So let me show you its features. So this here was a belt loop on a rucksack. So I've just stitched that together to give a pad there. And there's a little bit of adjustment in each end. So that's removable. And then my buckles are on upside down, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go, living you learn. This lid just opens as a lid, as a, as a standard lid like that, right? You could store stuff in there, in that part, but there's also Velcro on here, so you can lay it out on the floor and give something to sit on or something to put your stuff on well, if the if the grass or the ground is wet, so just to give you an extra little bit of admin area, okay. Now, also we've got a decent sized pocket at the front there, and then on the sides we've got decent sized pocket, and then another pocket directly behind it. So it's just sewn like that. That's where your straps are torn. There's your rubber pocket there. And inside here, I had some old um, like nylon tent material. Um, so I made a, a tube and sewed it in around that area with a pull tie on it. So you pull that tight and then put the lid over the top and then you're not going to get water ingress from the sides here when you're carrying it. So that's the idea of that. Open that out. And then, just to give it a bit more shape, um, I've got some of this Corex. Or, um, so this stuff's fireproof, so then again, I can stick it on the floor. It can be a sit mat or an admin area, whatever. So that's pretty good. And then in the bottom, now, I made a box like this. Now, one, it gives it a bit of shape, which is pretty useful, but also, I can stand out that way and it can be a little admin area to do me cooking on or put me stuff on, um, put me coffee on and stuff like that just so it doesn't get the heat sucked out of it by the ground. I got the idea, um, step away from the screens did a, made a little table out of this Corex stuff because this is fire resistant. Um, yeah, he came up with a really original idea that um, all by himself with no help. Um, so I thought I'd include something like that. There's no point having it folding up because I need it as a base. Right, so some of you may notice all the really, really dodgy stitching on it and some of the overruns and stuff, but it's a prototype. So I say I call it a prototype, then I can walk around with it for the next two years and say I'm still testing it before I make the final one. No, I'm not very good at sewing. So this is as good as it gets. One of the big things, it's not too wide. So while I'm carrying it, it's not going to snag on stuff. Yeah, and it's a nice height. It's not going to be, you know, I, I've still got short in it, so I can bring it up higher. So it's in the small of my back when I'm carrying it on my back. And then when I carry it on my side, like that, I've still got decent access. It's not too big and bulky. So it's 400 mil wide. Uh, 300 mil deep and about 175 wide um, which is plenty for all my camera stuff to go in so happy with that
Right guys, you made it this far. If you'd like to check out just here for the playlists of stuff I've made over the years, some random bits and bobs, uh, or if you'd like to check out over here for stuff you'll probably be interested in. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe just down here and follow me on Instagram.